Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Susie Foodie, if you don't already know. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome! Uh, so today I'll be doing another cooking video of one of my favorite dishes, Eggs Benedict. So this will be a really easy recipe to make Eggs Benedict. Um, I know I've tried some recipes and they didn't go out so well. I think this is a pretty fast recipe uh, to make Eggs Benedict. Really easy one for starters. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here are our ingredients. We have our butter, our cheese, our ham, our English muffins, some eggs, and lemon juice and we also have parsley so you want to make sure to bring it to a boil on high heat and once that starts boiling that's when you want to turn it on low so you might have to take it off the heat sometimes and you just want it to kind of have a couple bubbles coming up a couple times that would be perfect and then what you can do is add just a tablespoon of vinegar and kind of mix that around just if you want to it's up to you what you're gonna do when it starts doing the slight bubbles is open the egg and crack it close to the water so it doesn't break the yolk so when you do that you're gonna twirl it immediately very gently you just want to twirl the egg whites kind of over the yolk so that it kind of covers it and it covers the yolk and you're just gonna keep twirling that gently kind of get that all together and not everywhere in uh, the water you're gonna cook it for about four minutes and that's until it's not transparent anymore while that's cooking, set an ice bath for the eggs. You're gonna use a slotted spoon to put the eggs in there so that it can kind of take off the vinegar and kind of cool down. So here, you got your slotted spoon, and you can also cut off some excess parts of the egg whites. That's optional. If you feel that's safe enough or if you think it's gonna cut the egg yolk, then don't do it. Now we can get our English muffins and toast it in the toaster. Let's go. Woo. So what I'm going to do is get a slice of the ham, kind of leave it on there, and let it sizzle. So let's wait till it sizzles. Alright, now that the ham is starting to sizzle, Let's put a slice of the cheese on it. Kind of let it uh, melt too. All right, now that the English muffins are ready, we can put it on top and kind of let it melt on there. See? So it's kind of melted already, so we're just kind of making it so that it sticks to the English muffin. So the cheese sticks to the English muffin, that is. <laughs> All right. So it's pretty melted on there. And then we can flip it. Nice. So now we have our ready to go English muffins and we have our ready to go poached eggs. So you, what you wanna do carefully, this is an option. You don't have to do this just in case you might be scared of breaking it. You can kind of dry it on a paper towel very, very gently and carefully. And then you're gonna wanna transfer over the egg from the paper towel to the English muffin. That looks great. I think the egg yolk might have broken a little bit when I try to dry it. So maybe don't do that or just do it gently like I did with this one. But hey, I think it's still good for what it is. And it broke and it was leaky and yolky and it looked like it's supposed to. It had the right texture and whatnot. So that means that it was cooked just right. 
Now it's time to make the hollandaise sauce, which is basically just butter, tons of butter. So you can use about two to four uh, tablespoons of butter, up to you, but make sure to cut it up to, into cubes so it'll be easier to melt. So you want to get a little pot or pan and you're going to put on low heat. Put the egg yolk in and keep on whisking because you do not want the egg yolk to overcook. You may even have to take it off the heat just in case. So just keep putting it on, putting it off. If you find that it starts uh, kind of getting hard. And then you're going to add the lemon juice and whisk it as well and keep on whisking it. Again, you do not want the egg to overcook. So you're gonna add your butter and you should put up the heat one above low. So mix around the butter until you can start whisking it. When you're able to whisk it, it should be more of a creamy, thick kind of consistency when you hold your whisk up and kind of move it around, it should kind of ribbon. And you're gonna wanna add salt into it as well. And I would say about half a tablespoon, but that's up to you. All right, so we've made our hollandaise sauce and now it's time to put it on the Eggs Benedict. So now we're going to be covering up the crime scene with our hollandaise sauce. So that will be very yummy. Oh, that drizzle looks so good. See, nobody would ever know if we broke the yolk. Well, this one looks so much better. And if you want it to look prettier, just drizzle it with a zigzag. Get out the extra, just get a silicone spatula to scrape it out. So now we can add some garnishments. We can add a sprinkle of paprika on top, make it look pretty. And some black pepper for taste. And a little bit of parsley to make it look cute and pretty. Hey guys, here it is, the eggs benedict. So I put paprika on the top, some black pepper, and then I put some parsley. And the hollandaise smells so good. I bet it's very citrusy. We got the poached eggs, our honey ham, our cheddar cheese, and our English muffins. Can't wait to dig in. Let's see the egg yolk pop. Oh, that looks so good. Mmm. Amazing. The hollandaise sauce gives it a nice citrusy kick and so does the paprika it gives it a nice kick and the egg texture is soft yet not too soft i like my egg whites uh, a little bit harder um but yeah it's perfect well guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Things didn't go exactly as planned with this Eggs Benedict, but at the end, it was just perfect to me. Well, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't, uh, so you can get notifications on my new videos and make sure to like it as well, like this video. And let me know what other videos you guys wanna see from me. All right, talk to you guys soon, bye.